Jello again. Aaron here from My Turbo Reviews. And today I'm coming at you with a box set. That's right. What we have here is Transformers Combiner Wars Generation 2 Superion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick look at everything that the box has. Figures, combined mode. Let's see what we've got here. We've got an envelope with, of course, your instructions. A collector card with the G2 Superior art from the front of the box. And finally, a nice picture of Combiner War Superion. Unfortunately, he's in his G1 colors. Alright, well, let's get the tray out of the box. And as you can see, here are the G2 Aerial Bots. Fireflight, Quickslinger, aka Slingshot, Silverbolt there in the middle, and then Air Raid, and Skydive. And we've got somebody's attempt at making a G2 inspired Power Glide. I'm going to go over Power Glide first uh, because this is not the way that I would have gone had I designed the set. Power Glide was a Generation 1 mini bot, and if you know anything about G2, you know that there were four mini bots carried over from Generation 1. That being Bumblebee, Hubcap, Sea Spray, and Beachcomber. And even though two of the four were given slightly different colors, what defined the four of them as G2 minibots were the fact that they were given chrome, which they referred to as vacuum metalizing at the time. And that's exactly what I would have done with Power Glide. Kept him similar colors to Generation 1, but done him up in a, a chrome for his red color. Seems like a little bit of a missed opportunity for uh, the designers of the this box set, but it is what it is, so let's move on. You've got the individual weapons for each of the five aerial bots, and you've also got the hands slash feet for the combined mode. I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out of package and show them off first in their jet modes, then robot modes, then combined mode. Alright, here we have the six of them in their alternate modes, and they look pretty good. Uh, Hasbro has really remained faithful to uh, each character's G2 deco. Of course, Slingshot is not technically gold plastic, so let's hope he holds up over time. And again, I've gone over my issues with the Power Glide. Uh, it's nice to have, but I'm not sure it was necessary to this set. That being said, we'll show off the robot modes next. Alright, well, here's the group in their robot modes. You'll notice that each one sports a G2 Autobot symbol. You get Skydive and Air Raid here. Uh, you'll notice that they're exactly the same as their regular Combiner Wars releases, other than the paint schemes. And of course, both Quickslinger, aka Slingshot, and Firefly, aka Fireflight, are the exact same molds, other than a different head sculpt and the paint scheme. Again, just like the regular release of these figures in the Combiner Wars line. And finally, we've got Silverbolt, and he is looking much the way he did in the G2 days. So that is all six bots in their robot modes. Now I'm going to combine them, and I will see you shortly. 
And finally, we have the aerial bots in their combined mode of Superion. Air Raid and Skydive become legs. Quickslinger and Firefly become arms. Silverbolt, of course, is the torso. And Power Glide becomes a somewhat unconvincing weapon. This guy is gloriously beautiful in his garish colors. And the five, well, six bots come together to form a quite distinctive looking combined mode. One thing of note is that the Power Glide weapon is a little heavy for either Quickslinger or Firefly to hold. Honestly, other than for this review, I would probably keep Power Glide separate and just give Superion the combined shield and gun from Silverbolt. The only other thing of note is that Superion's ears have been fixed in that I believe that this soft plastic is actually molded in this color rather than molded and then painted uh, and that means that his ears stay where they're supposed to instead of falling back a little bit like the original release had an issue with. It's a nice little touch I just kind of wish that they had done that for the original release. All in all, this G2 Superion is a fantastic set. If you like the garish colors, if you like the fact that they've released a G2 Superion whose arm isn't going to crumble into dust, and if you like the G2 Aerial Bots. And this has been Aaron from My Turbo Reviews saying, Catch you later, dudes.